Adam and Corwin are playing with dicks. Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hi everyone, I'm Corwin, this is Adam. You're watching Handbasket Gaming and we are playing Mike Tyson's Punch-Out for the NES. Check that out, that's Mario, for some reason he's here. Yeah, he's the, uh, he's the um, ref. I have the wrong controller. Now I have the right controller. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna play this game. Well, Adam's yeah. gonna play this game. It's a one-player game. Yeah. And, uh, I wanna see... 1987. You asked when it came out? It came nice. out in 1987. No, I was one. Out. I was born that year. Yep, so th you came out the same year this came out. Yeah, we did. I need to remember how to play this game. Well, don't worry, you can beat this guy. He's, uh, look at him. He's, he's French. He's French. And as we learned from France... Because, yeah, he's he's named French Joe, or Glass Joe. And Glass whole, Joe? Like, the whole joke is that he has a, uh, a glass jaw. Ouch. Yeah! Oh, God. Fuck you! Fuck you, you Frenchie! Really, really putting it to him, huh? Yep. Give it to him. So, yeah, the whole... This whole thing is that you have to... Oh, fuck. So, if I had hit him when he did that little flash thing... Mm -hmm. uh, oh, no, I did... I got a star punch already. Um, What's a star punch? Like when you, when you get a particularly good punch, shit, and I tired myself out. Uh, but when you get a particularly well timed punch, like against their special moves and stuff, <clears throat> then you get a star, and you can use that star to do a special punch. I think by hitting A and B at the same time. But cool. we'll find out right now. Nope, that wasn't it. I did get a new star though, and another one. That's a couple of stars you got there. Oh, now oh, I tired now you're myself tired. out. Uh -oh. Now I'm fucked. Don't don't do that, man. Come on, lay it on. Give it to him. Like X. Yeah. I'm like X up in this bitch. Just put a brick in his face. Now I'm like stitches up in Dude, this bitch. Dude, what's what? Who is like? What? Who's Little Mac? That I'm you? Little Mac. Who's that guy cheering you on? That's uh, that's my coach. I want coach in my corner. He looks he horrifying. Told me to... <laughs> you see his eyes. He told me He's to watch his left. Terrifying teeth, like a rabbit. I have to watch his left, apparently. Watch his left, man. All right, I'm gonna do that. Also, I love selling blow. Is that, yeah. Does that make me better at boxing? It does, actually. I have so many. I keep getting so many stars, and I don't know how to use them. Is it select? Nope. Oh, Glass Joe missed you. Glass Jaw Joe missed you. Nope. It's not select. You'll get it. Try to start. Uh... Oh, it's start. Wow. Normally, start is a pause button. How many well, of those wow, stars? I... Did you use two stars to do that, huh? No, that was one star to use that. I thought you had three stars. Now you're well, each one. time you get hit, you lose a star. Okay. I'm remembering mechanics of the game as well. Cool. I, I, I actually didn't play this as a kid all that much. So when did you play it? Uh, when I got it. Oh, just recently? Well, not recently. Like, it was like a year ago. A okay. year and a half ago, somewhere around there. But I'm just like, this game looks like fun. I'm gonna play it. It looks like fun. It is, like it is. It, it's fun at these stages, like oh, when not. you're when you're fighting the Frenchman and it's super easy. It's <laughs> uh, it's pretty uh, pretty great. Oh fuck yo, that took both of them. I want to see. Stars. I want to see a newer version of this game where they add in like other boxers, like uh, like Mayweather and um. No. <laughs> no, because you don't want to beat them up in the game. No, the only reason that Tyson got in this is because it was like they needed something to draw more people to it back in the. Uh, Back at that point. Because, like, he, uh... Like, because they released a version of this that was just Punch-Out. Mm. And that one's actually worth less. Mm. But yeah, now we've got Von Kaiser from Germany. Okay. And He's names, a vampire. Look at his teeth. The names do not get less... Ridiculous. Stereotypical and borderline racist. <laughs> Like, what do you, the, you eventually come to like Stinky Pete or something like that? And he's like Frenchman. No, we already fought the Frenchman. Well, there pay might be attention, a second Frenchman. Corwin, watch our own show. Does please. he have to pee? No, that's just how you box. By needing to pee. He looks like a centaur with fuzzy legs and huff boots. That'd be a satyr. Yeah, whatever. Satyrs what I meant. My mistake. Uh, but anyway, um, like you run into uh the Russian boxer who was initially named uh, Vodka Drunkinsky, but wow. then was renamed the more uh, the more sensitive name, which was Soda Popinsky. 
Not because they were worried about the racism, but they were worried about the God damn you, fucking Von Kai, you you Nazi son of a bitch. Give it to him, man. God damn it. What makes him a Nazi? He looks like a non-Nazi. He looks like a actually. He looks like a World War One German. Yeah. But either way, I hate him. <laughs> either way, he's dead now. Yeah, yeah. I, I killed his ass with and that's smallpox. Great. With smallpox. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. You used. I weird killed him with pop. smallpox. Ooh, oh shit! I forgot out. to do my A B thing. Uh, in between rounds, if you tap A and B, uh, it gets you up faster. What gets you health? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nope. Fuck. So right. I um. Well, I mentioned earlier today in our there's a star sessions, punch. There you there's go. There's a star punch. Yeah. I recently saw the new It movie. Yeah. Uh, twice. Okay. Um, I was legitimately pleased. There was some. There was some changes that I wasn't a big fan of, but I had to go into it. Is sorry. This yeah. this amazing dodges punch, then counter punch. Gee, thanks. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, his name is Doc. That's what the yeah, coach. Look name. at his eyes. Yeah, no. He looks like the Corinthian. His eyes are literally teeth. I don't know what that means. Oh, the Corinthian. He's a. He has teeth for eyes. He eats. Does he make leather? All I know about Corinth, Corinth is that it's known for its leather. Mm. Anyway, talk, talk about it. Oh yeah, it's um, <laughs> they made they made some changes that I wasn't a big fan of, but there was a lot of things they did right. And going into it, what I had I to do is tell myself, you know what, this isn't the last, this isn't the the, the mini series, and this isn't the book. This is its own. Like I I kind of viewed it like a like a tribute almost. Yeah, kind of like when I would watch uh, the old uh, the Harry Potter movies. Yeah, it's just like it's its own thing. It's not. It's, it's not terrible. Yeah, it's not the actual, uh, um, like the book. Although there were more similarities Shit, to this movie that were in the book than there was in the original one. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, its costumes, Pennywise's actual costume, a significantly closer to what it is in the book. Actually, it is what it is in the book in this new movie, and it looks really great. And in my opinion, the um. Uh, all of a sudden is now is the actor's name just immediately fell out of Tim my head. Curry. No, no, not Tim Curry, the new one. Tim Curry. Tim Curry was not, does not. Tim Curry is the only one that matters. Tim, that, you know what? I would have agreed with you uh, for a while and I love Tim Curry. Don't get me wrong, but I think Skarsgård, I think Skarsgård did a admirable and excellent job. Yeah, but not better than Tim Curry. As a, I can't, I can't, they're two different. They're like two different. You can't like compare two different types of meals like that. They're, they're so different. And they're both so good that it's a whole different thing. Okay, it's but a very Tim Curry. Different, like, like you're you're comparing a good steak to Tim Curry <laughs> to Tim Curry. Yeah, Tim Curry to a good steak. I don't don't get me wrong. Actually, the reason why I'm so passionate about oh oh piston Honda. Wow. Yeah. Wow. From ridiculous. shocking Japan. Not racist, guys. Not, Not racist, racist at, at all. all. But of course, this would have been this was made by Nintendo, so that's like. Self racism? Maybe. Sorry, but talk about the, it. The reason that I'm so I'm so passionate about it is that as a kid, I was scared of a bunch of stuff, and uh, you know, the it, the uh, like like Pennywise the clown was no exception. I was terrified of him too. But um, to get over my fear of the darkness, what I ended up doing is I started uh, imagining that at the at the foot of my bed was Pennywise. And um, and, the Fre and, and and Freddy uh, from uh, you know where, and the two of them were playing cards, and I would imagine other monsters trying to come into my room, and the two of them being like, "Get the fuck out of here!" and like 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 beating oh, up, fuck. And scaring oh, away fuck. the oh fuck uh, oh fuck the oh monsters. fuck oh fuck. Well, don't don't get, don't get, come on. You can you're better than this. You got this. I can't I can't remember the the strats for this guy. Lay him flat. Put him in his balls. But yeah, that I actually like. I makes it makes that makes the clown I make, make, makes Pennywise and the story of it and everything really endearing to me. Because even though it's really scary and is I think is really it's a really good genuine good horror story. Mm -hmm. uh, I it's got a really warm place in my heart because it helped me like get braver as a kid and kind of get over that sort of thing and start enjoying stuff like that. Like I'm not a big horror fan, but when it comes to like it, um, huge fan. Mm -hmm. Huge fan. And, like, I'm really enjoying the book. Um, I'm, I'm reading it for the first time. I'm in the last, like, two chapters of it. And uh, it's been it's been a really great I don't ride. know how to dodge that. I don't think you do. I think you just lose. Thanks. Well, he's Honda. Listen, Mac. Catch him off guard. Thanks, really, Corinthian. Really, Doc? Got really, some really good knowledge thanks, there. Thanks, Doc. You should wear a helmet when you fight me. Good insight. I'm pretty just... sure that's not allowed. 
can eat his I goddamn would. soul. I absolutely would, dude. But, um, one thing that they did that I wasn't a big fan of, so, so spoilers, guys, for any of you who haven't seen it yet, uh, they, they took two of my favorite characters, and they fucked with their backstories extremely. Now, like I said, it has to be a different, uh, it's, I have to view it like a, like a, like a tribute, it's a different universe, it's, things can be different. Mm. But one of the changes they did really bothered me, because it, they completely, uh, whitewashed an, an important character. My favorite character's name is Mike, and he is... He's, he, he's the black kid kid of the group who grows up on a farm and he knows all the history because his dad collects all the history. Yeah, the token farm black kid. Yeah. That's, you know, and that old trope. Him, and they, and, he, and, he, uh, and he, he has got the history of the town. He's the one that helps them discover what uh, what the clown is. Okay. Well, what they did in this version is they gave that whole back background to, I mean, they, they left him as the farm kid. But they gave the whole discover what the clown is all over to Ben Hanscom. And Ben is the architect character. He, like, helps him build stuff and he grows up to be a great architect. They okay. completely d didn't put that in the movie at all, really, anywhere. Damn it. And then they just gave him all of Mike's stuff. Which is, all right, fine, it's a different story. What, what do they give Mike? Absolutely nothing. They, they, they He's just the most bland, just, hey, I'm, I'm here. I'm here in the background. What's <gasps> up, guys? I, I, I timed it. I timed it and I got him. There you go. Yes. Good job. So they basically took took my my favorite character and was like, "You're just you're in the background hanging out." That's it's not like, what whitewashing like means. They put, but I understand. You understand That's, what I was trying to say. Yeah. It's like if they were, if it was like the Lord of the Rings and they were just like, "Hey, uh, Aragorn, just just stand over there, just chill." You know, kind of like he did. Yeah, but you kind of like, like in general, they still look at like, him. Kind of like the story him. of. Is that Coach? Yeah, that's that the that's Easter Doc. Bunny. That no, that's me. You're the Easter Bunny? I am the Easter Bunny. Dude, that's fucking legit. Yeah, On that's... the next episode, I think you should beat up more people. Okay. I was going to do this as a one-off, but sure, I'm doing well. I haven't lost yet. No, you haven't. I'm amazing. You can do this. I'm so, gonna... what do you guys think is our favorite caveman character? Like, from any, any caveman media, you know, because there's tons of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, answer down below. We'll record the right answers. Give shout-outs to people who get it right. Give us game suggestions down there as well. And, um... Uh, I love Corwin. I'm not afraid to say it. Happy birthday, America.